for that y value that's going to basically be plugging in a hole. Now, again, just a reminder, guys, let's go ahead and plug in this. Let's go and look at this graph. This has a transformation of two units to the right and then one unit up. So one, two, up one unit. So then should look something like this. But again, it says x cannot equal 2. So you go to 2, and you say, there's a hole there. Then they're saying it equals 2, but what value do we want k to equal 2? Yeah, we basically want k, well, we basically want k to then be equal to 1, right? If you guys agreed, if we had 1 there, if k had equal to 1, then we can go and figure that out. Now, all I have to do is, again, as I mentioned, change this to cosine of x minus 2 plus 1, and then I can confuse all of you, right? So the functions are going to change. I'm just doing some basic under examples for you guys to understand. So no matter what the function is, exponential, logarithmic, absolute value, no matter what the function is, all we're simply going to do in this case to find the value k, now this is obvious because we're looking at the graph, but I want to show you guys algebraically what we're doing. We basically want our function to equal that value, right? Because when you guys take a function, you know, x minus 2 squared plus 1, and we set that equal to y. x is the input, y is the output, right? So we want that output is going to be where that hole is. We want to know what is that output. So k is what we're trying to find. OK? And then again, what are we trying to find k at? We're trying to find k when x is equal to? Two. So all we're simply going to do equals plug 2 in for there. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0. k equals positive 1. Again, I showed you guys the graph. It was obvious looking at the graph. But you guys need to make sure you know how to do the algebra for that. Okay. So whenever you guys have a function like that where it's a hole and you're looking for the continuity, you're basically setting the equation.